the sweater with Kathleen Dames. We're on spring hiatus right now, but I'll still be sharing some fun things with you every week until we're ready to knit our second sweater together when season two starts in May. Hello my friends, thank you for joining me. I'm Kathleen Dames and today on spring hiatus episode two of the sweater, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about yarn and wool and things to think about when you go to your yarn store or shop for yarn online. So. I'm wearing my Solstice Cardi that you may already know from season one of the podcast. Um, it's super soft, it's a wool blend with cashmere, um, and I think it has a tiny bit of nylon. It's a fingering weight yarn, it's multi-plied, it is worsted spun. So what does all that mean? <laughs> There's a lot of things that go into one yarn, right? Um, First of all, it's merino, cashmere, and nylon, and those three elements are spun together. And because it, as I said, it's multiplied, that means it's lots of smaller threads that are then twisted together. And the more threads you twist together, the sort of stronger your yarn is going to be. Because as we know, like one strand, it's easier to break. If you twist them together and then you try and break them, they work together to hold on and keep from breaking. Um, and the other part I think I said was uh, about woolen spun. No, actually, it's worsted spun versus woolen spun. And in worsted spun, um, you have all of your fibers sort of combed into an alignment together. And so they're all really tidy smooth and straight and that's great it makes for a very smooth yarn um, it makes for a denser yarn too and so that's something that you want to think about when you are um, choosing yarn for a sweater and the other side of worsted spun yarn is woolen spun yarn and woolen spun yarn you don't comb out the fibers and they're all sort of jumbled together and um, that makes for maybe a more delicate yarn, but all those jumbled fibers, they, um, they trap the air. They're like little pockets. And so the same yarn, the same fiber spun um, woolen style is going to have more, be warmer for um, and a lighter weight. If that, hope that makes some kind of sense. Uh, Jane today is wearing the block pullover, block pulley. And one of the reasons I designed this sweater was to show off the difference between these two kinds of yarn. The body is knit in a, um, a woolen spun yarn. It's Harrisville Shetland. And it's you can see it's it's got a really sort of dry hand. It's got a matte finish. It's a little jumbly. It's a little fuzzy. If you get a chance to see it up close, there's this fuzz to it, and um, it this it's also heathery. They they mixed a bunch of colors together, um, and it's I love it. It's really light, and yet it's a very cozy sweater. And then the cuffs and the collar are knit in Madeline Tosh sock, which is um, a worsted spun multiply yarn. And you can see it's got a sheen. It's also hand dyed, so it's, it, it, there's a lot of contrast in this sweater, which is one of the things I like about it. But um, it's very smooth and shiny. Uh, it, it's stronger and denser. Um, and it provides a great contrast. So there, there's nothing wrong. One isn't better than the other. It's just being aware of what's going to work for you in a certain situation. Um, I'm also, I'm working on a cabled sweater right now and it is also in uh, a woolen spun yarn. And what I like about it is it's, it's light for what it is. If I were to knit the same sweater again, in a worsted spun yarn, um, all those, and multi-plies, all those plies would make for a really dense and heavy sweater. And that may be what I want, um, but in this instance, I want that sort of lighter, airier version that still provides really strong cables. And, um, and I'll show it to you right now. It's just, you can see how dense the cables are. 
how um, it but again it has sort of a dry hand all the fibers are jumbled together it's not that smooth and silky thing that um, that sometimes we're looking for and then I talked about plies and this yarn is I think it's two plies and it's kind of delicate um, it's sort of loosely spun together you can see parts where it's a little tighter and a little looser and I love that that's part of the charm in this one um, but when I'm looking at the yarn in the sleeves for uh, the block pulley, you can see it's really dense and smooth because there are, I would say, at least three or four plies in there. And each of those was, was spun as well, and then they're spun together. So um, it makes for a smooth, compact, bouncy yarn. Um, and it's, it's just a very different yarn from your sort of airy Shetland or, you know, your um, woolen spun yarns. Now, I've been saying woolen and worsted, and I have, sometimes have to pause, as you may have noticed, to remember which one I'm talking about. And then, of course, there's another bit of confusion because worsted is not only a way of spinning yarn, whether by hand or by machine, but also in some places, it is a weight of yarn or thickness. Um, some, some countries and play parts of the world describe yarn uh, thickness in terms of plies, whether they are actually in fact a single ply or two ply, um, we'll say worsted weight yarn is called an eight ply, but other places call it a worsted weight yarn, and that's something where between an Aran and a DK. Um, there, there are lots of, of course, different names for the weights of yarns. That seems to be getting a little more standardized. Um, the Craft Yarn Council has their numeric listings, but even that has, um, you know, the finest weight is one, and that covers fingering weight, which is also considered baby yarn, sock yarn, and lace weight. And there are, of course, different kinds of lace weight, from heavy lace to cobweb. So it, it's pretty complicated, but it's not, or maybe it's, the problem is we have too many words to describe it and we haven't all agreed on one way to talk about everything. So it's good to, to learn the different ways to talk about the yarn. Um, and, but, but what I was saying about worsted is that it is also a class of a weight of yarn. Often, I believe in eight ply, I may be completely wrong, but, but it's, it's your sort of thicker sweater weight, heavy sweater weight yarn. Um, and it has nothing to do with the way worsted spun yarn is spun. Um, so there are two words with different meanings in different parts of the yarn world, just to make things interesting. It'll keep you on your toes. So that is what I have to share with you today about yarn. And uh, one last thing, I was reading um, in Alice Starmore's Erin Knitting a while ago. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. But she talked about how beautiful and perfect some sweaters she was looking at in a museum were and how even the stitches were and how amazing, some people said how amazing the knitters who knit those must have been. Um, but what she said is that over time, you, yarn is spun evenly and uh, for the most part, it, especially in historical garments. Um, and it wants to return to that even, even spot. So when you're worried about your tension and your stitches are a little wonky and you haven't even washed and blocked it yet, keep that in mind that time will help you too. The blocking helps a lot and then time will really, you, the stitches all want to be even. The yarn wants to be in a smooth continuous state. So don't get really worked up about a few wonky stitches here and there. Just, you know, let the yarn relax, relax yourself and it will all be good. So that's just a few little uh, tidbits for you today, a little few woolly thoughts I was having. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And next week I will be back with more. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, be sure to let me know. Um, and you can do that on Twitter or Instagram. You can comment directly on this if you're watching on YouTube or um, drop me a line. Thank you so much for being here and happy knitting. Bye.